We're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and Joel. Just Joel. Here with our next top 10 list. Which are probably our most difficult videos to do. So many new knives and only 10 spots. Or if you're us, 11 or 12 spots. Yeah. So for this top 10 video, we are doing the top 10 budget folding knives for 2022. Now, we take a lot into consideration when we do these. We think about style, quality, popularity, price, usability, collectability, and of course, our personal preference. That last one is key. So let's hit our number 10, and that is the Ganzo Anamanti Schemen. There it is. Yeah. Very popular budget folder this year. Now, we loosely define budget since we've had inflation. There are several color options to pick from. Black, blue, camo, carbon fiber, and green. All are below 50 bucks. Adelaide.com. First thing. There's also a titanium option, but it's like uh, 168084 dollars from Adelaide.com. Obviously, that doesn't make the budget list. Not today. Maybe next year. So, this Gary is 8.07 inch overall with a 3.34 inch D2 steel drop point blade with jimping. Satin finish and a plain edge. Handle is G10. And offered stainless. In, and stainless? Yeah. Offered in a variety of colors, as we mentioned. And sports a tip up pocket clip and glass breaker. Lastly, the blade is deployed with jimped flipper stud. And this liner lock is just $38.84 from alignknife.com. So we like this one for a lot of reasons. The steel. The price. The price, yeah. Yes. And we like the usability of this knife too. But $38.84, that's a little bit more than last year's budget, right? We chose the Penguin, I believe. Wasn't it? It was $32, yeah. I believe. But that was so, number one. So. so we're a little bit more. Well, yeah, true, but, you know. Very nice knife. I definitely have one. It's Are also you? sold steadily since its release. Yes. Very, very decent budget carry. Flipper friendly as well. Mm -hmm. I like the, the blade a lot. All right. Ready? Yep. Next is number nine. And this is the Sencut Sachet. Yep. CBB's budget brand, or Wii's budget brand, uh, kicked off this year and they really came in strong with their own budget button lock. So the button lock's what's got it here. This is one of the most popular and very user-friendly blade style in our option. Available in four options. Black Micarta, Brown Micarta, Dark Green Micarta, and JG10. So it's about 7.8 inches overall with a 3.47 inch 9CR18 MOV steel drop point blade with jimping, flat grind, plain edge, and either the black stone wash finish or satin finish. Hmm. This one obviously has the satin finish. Comes to about 5860 on the HRC scale. Handle is Micarta with reversible tip up pocket clip. Here it is. Blade operates on cage drag ball bearings and is open with either the jimped flipper tab, dual-sided thumb studs, or button lock. Comes with pouch, cleaning cloth, stickers, starting at just 45 45 From AlanaKnife.com. Impressive. And there all the options are under $50. So good job on that send cut. No, like, $90 Damascus or something. I will say that the only downside of this knife <laughs> is the steel. Yes. I feel like they could have gone D2. Some people don't like T2, but I think for this price, it could have been D2. I do think the quality of the button lock, in coordination to how well it fits the hand, can help you forget the steel. I mean, look at that. And it still cuts really well. Sharp. Good, yeah, really good ergonomics, too. Yeah. All right. I like all the op opening options on this one. It is similar to a Vosti Thunderbird, which is now back in stock for a limited time. You like how we did that? Mm -hmm. No ding. They're selling like... Markdown wedding dresses at Filene's basement. So get yours before they are gone. And we don't know when they'll be back in stock, so find the Vosti Thunderbird link in the description below. Before they're gone. Before they are gone. Next at number eight, we have the Cancept Weasel. One of Cancept's diamonds in the rough. Comes in three options. Brown Micarta, Carbon Fiber, and JG10. Designed by Rolf is it Hellbig? Hellbig. Hellbig. Mm -hmm. Hellbig. This simple, common sense cutting tool is 7.06 inch overall with a 3.12 inch 154 cm steel drop point blade, stonewash finish, and a flat grind. 
blade operates on ceramic ball bearings and is opened with the rounded jimp flipper stud. Hmm. Handle is G10 on this option and it has a tip-up pocket clip. It is a non-locking double detent system. Hmm. So not a line of lock, not a frame lock. Similar to a slip joint, but I think it's better than a slip joint. Well, I would agree that it's better than a slip joint. But that's like saying, you know, green beans are better than Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I'm hmm. not That's kind of nice, though. Kind of like that. Yep. Ooh, I didn't get it all the way. What should I do? All right. There you go. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Well, I mean, I'm not a slip joint fan. I'm not a half slip joint fan. I'm not a three quarter slip joint fan. But I really like the price of the knife, the styling of the knife, and it is a flipper. So, I don't know. It'd be better if it was a button lock, but I think it deserves to be where it's at. Yeah. How about that for a. Uh, 60 foot, 66 50 land, I don't Yeah. Know. We didn't go over our 50. So oh, close. 50's long we, gone. We were trying to stay around under 50, but just this year you can't. No. I really like the color combo they got on this one. Eh, let's just move on. All right. And we're on to the number seven. Seven already? Yep. Wow, we're the getting there. The Shielden Bazookan. All right. Yeah. Very popular knife this year and good for the money. Two for it's the show. 7.95 inch overall. With a 3.43 inch D2 sheep's foot blade, gray titanium coated finish, flat grind, and jimping. Mm -hmm. Blade operates on ceramic ball bearings and it's open with jimp flipper tab or a thumb hole. Handle comes in either black G10 or this kind of a mixture of black, brown, and green G10. Swirly, as I've heard it referred to. Swirly. Mm -hmm. who, who called it swirly? I believe Buddy the Elf. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Features a tip-up red carry pocket clip and lanyard hole, designed by Django. Unchained. Comes with a black nylon belt pouch, which I have to show you. There it is. Look at that, and mm -hmm. it snaps right on. That's what I like best. You want to take the whole belt off, put it on there, and then slide it on. It just pops right on there. Can't beat that. Yep. And it's just fifty seventy-eight from Landknife.com. I like the handle on this. I like the little accent details. The uniqueness of the knife itself, and it cuts well, and it opens smoothly, so I'm all good with this. Yeah, I believe this is an all-around A for me. I really liked it. Um, maybe we, I think we said this was very similar to the Toucan, mm -hmm. except a little thinner. But, very nice knife, definite must-have, and that's number what, seven? Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? Moving on. Number six. Bosteed Nightshade. Only two options, gray and black, but only the blacks left, so mm -hmm. there it for is. For good reason. We round this knife several times. So it's 7.48 inches overall mm -hmm. with a 3.26 inch 154cm Fusion Kukri shilling cutter blade. Hmm. We just call it a leaf shaped blade. Anyways, it's got the full flat grind, it's got a satin finish, it's got jimping, it's got a plain edge, and of course it's got that full fat curved belly. Hmm. This blade is perfect for slicing as well as push and draw cutting due to the negative angle tip and a three door con 3D contoured G10 handle. Now you may not have heard of this brand because I don't think a lot of people carry it. We've only had it, what, half a year maybe? Yeah. So, uh, you know, yeah. but this, this handle also provides excellent comfort and a, and a good grip. That's most important. Yep. Blade operates on cage from ball bearings and is opened with a jimp flipper tab. You can lock on this liner lock. It's very easy to release, okay? Mm -hmm. Look at that. For all sized hands, so. Mother-in-law is going to be able to release this lock, no problem. If she can get her hands on one. Oh. I wouldn't true. give her one. Nice lanyard yeah. hole to the pocket. It's not lip. long enough or heavy enough to break through the ice of her heart. No. But, other than that, nice knife. I really like this knife, so. I think we should move on to the next one. Well, I really like this knife. I like the crown spine, the steel, the design, and the extras. Mm -hmm. Tin, pouch, patch, stickers. Look at the, look at the patch. She likes all that. Look, and the tin. The tin's nice. Look at the tin. Reminds you of a watch box. It's a nice tin. Like I'm getting a Movado in there. Bold. Mm. There get the nightshade. Okay. And it's just 68 dollars from landknife.com. Don't get it while supplies last. 
Today is also the start of our Thanksgiving deal event. Oh my gosh, deals that we have available. Are you ready? Tons from CRKT, tons from Gerber. Um, what else? Oh, we have a buy one, get one free on Boker pens, uh, tactical pens, titanium. We have uh, Buck. Buck. Lots of Buck Lots things. Lots of Buck stuff. Lots of gift uh, sets, you know. Cold Steel markdown, the prices that you just cannot believe. Prices have never been lower. Mm -hmm. We are slashing. Prices. We have a little Boker Arbolita. It's like 99 bucks. I mean, this is, you know. There's too much. And don't forget, our buy one, get one freeze. So we'll have one each day. Sometimes I'll be about three, sometimes I'll be about two. It all depends. Yeah, and we'll be doing special promo things too. Yeah, like, some of them we can't just tell you because. Yeah, then we'll ruin everything. Well. We're doing new deals every single day, so make sure to mm -hmm. check the website often. Plus, if you're watching this, like, next week, then it's over. Oh, you missed out. There it is. This is made for our main viewing audience. That's nice. All right. So, finally, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring the bell, because you guys, this is why we get to do it, because of you. In true Thanksgiving fashion, we are very grateful for all the support you guys give us. Oh, do that gobble thing that you do. No, I don't we do take gobble your... thing. I thought that was your mother-in-law. No, no, she just has the gobbler thing. I thought she did the gobbler thing. No. no. All right, enough of this gooey show of emotion. On to number five, and that is... Beats me. I don't know what number five is. Oh, it's a Kaiser Assassin. Yep. I can recognize that. Two options available. Green Makara and Red Makara. The red being the more popular model. It's 7.28 inches overall with a 3 inch 154 cm blade with chimping, satin finish, plain edge. Handle is the Makara, the green one on this one, and features a reversible tip by pocket clip, jimp backspacer slash lanyard hole. Designed by Carlos Elsner, the blade is opened with a jimp flipper stud or by button lock. Can't beat that. Okay. Has milled liners as EDC makes the perfect pocket carry at 3.42 ounce. Get yours from LineLock.com for just $69 or tells K. And free shipping. Which we are keeping throughout the entire holiday season. Wow, like you're plugging companies. it. Boss I Man am. is on top of it today. We thought this should make the list. I'm going to get your quarter ready. Because this is a great quality mm -hmm. blade of 154cm for $69. Yes. And it's been like high demand the entire time. I mean, yep. it still is actually. We also like the button lock operation, how smooth it was and how easy it was to engage and disengage. He flopped He's happy. Around. He's happy. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Go it's on you. Is that a Kaiser Assassin in your pocket? Yes. With that, we're on to number four. Oh my gosh, I totally thought I wrote that in there. Or is he happy to see me? No, the, is that a Kaiser Assassin in your pocket? Well, maybe not. I'm pretty sure I, maybe I took it out, maybe. but I, I remember writing it. Cans of Corbett M. Oh, we're on the number four. Sorry. The middle one. This is the medium version of this new folder. This is the meaty version of the folder. Came out sometime in like January. This is the vegan. Vegan. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to all you vegans out there. Left-handed vegans, I'm sure, too. Cancept Corbett XL made waves with its massive size but affordable quality. 154 cm for 80 bucks. This medium is just as affordable. $65. But at a much more amenable size. Lineup.com. I did. I was pointing. Oh, okay. All right. So there's several options to choose from. Uh, there's G10 colors up the wazoo, mm -hmm. along with Micarta and titanium options, all in like the Mini, the M, and the XL. So we have the JG10 medium Corvid. Designed by Justin Koch, Coke, owner of Coke, Coke Tools. Coke, the Coke. Corvid M is 6.28 inches overall with a 2.45 inch 154cm steel cleaver blade mm -hmm. with flat grind and jimping. Look at that jimping. It is nice. And plain edge. Finishes range from satin to stone wash to black titanium carbonitride. This one has the carbonitride, obviously. It is. Three millimeter stick. Blade is open with a jimped flipper tab. There it is. Liner lock has a G10 handle lanyard hole, tip up pocket clip, comes with pouch, cleaning cloth for just $65. Lineup.com. You know, somebody you said, the... drop the bell, it was annoying. That's it's like, supposed to be. That's like our, our that is staple. It. We dropped all kinds of stuff. We keep it the bell. Yeah. All right, go ahead. I like the thumb studs too. Oh, and I forgot, I forgot. You know what? Just to show you how good this model is for the everyman, we're gonna give you a comparison. Look at this. There's the mini, the medium, and the XL Corvette. It's evolving. Da, 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 da. 
Look at that. It's like growing. Well, this is probably one of the most popular knives of the year. We just love how much you get for your money. Not to mention. What do you like about it? Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the Ready? medium. I gotta talk about this one. Yes. I like the one, the big one. Yeah, but most people think right. this is too, too. Yeah, well that's most people. I like the big the one. The choil on this thing is ridiculous. You get your finger in there and it will not get cut. I love that part. Gosh, I can't tell you how much I love that. It's a wacky nunu. It's a wacky nunu. It gives you an extra basically half inch to the knife, which you can now get four nice fingers on it. I like the cutting style of the blade, the tip part where you can uh, do precision cutting is awesome. And they put this little spot right here for your thumb. You see how this is just made for my hand? Mm. I love that part. Yeah. Now that one's made for my hand too. Whoa. Whoa. But this chimping is Jules chimping. This one had the, this is why this one got here. It was just made the way it was supposed to be. I mean, mm. just I love like the every little touch that you needed. Go ahead. And the bang for your buck is off the hook. Probably should. It's for you, Ja Crispy. Mm -hmm. That brings us to the final cut. Final cut? Yep. Our pick for the top three budget folders of the year. Number three. Spyderco Upturn. And the Tenacious Lightweight. <laughs> we couldn't decide. You you guys who've seen us, you know how we are by now. So both of these knives are quality made Spydercos. One of course being a lighter model of their world renowned Tenacious mm -hmm. and one of C's all time favorite knives it is. ever. Yeah. Well, see, the Tenacious wasn't new, just the lightweight Wait, part. One, isn't so it? that's why we were like, you know what? The Spyderco Upturn was awesome because it kind of reminds me of the police model, especially with its nice little, um, what do you call it? Uh, the brushed, brushed finish. finish. Oh, I mean, I love that part. And it's got the most important part. Um, oh, I, by the way, I finally got my copper scales. Well, I've been on it for a while now, my Tenacious, and I actually use it now. Do you? Yeah. Wow, been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. Before we made it. Anyways. The Upturn was released sometime in August this year. Part of Spyderco's value folder family. This lockback is 6.57 inches overall with a 2.82 inch 8CR13 MOV steel blade. Opened with Spyderco's iconic thumb hole. So there it is. There's the iconic thumb hole. Blade also features satin finish, jimping. Full flat grind and plain edge, though this one is offered in a combination edge as well. Mm -hmm. Handle is stainless steel and sports a four position pocket clip. Lastly, it weighs just 3.6 3.6 ounces and it's just 45.50. Lightknife.com. All right. Well, I think you basically told them why I made the list is that you love the Spyderco police model and this was it's a, a steel Whittles police model. Yeah. Yeah. And it's spider cut. Not exactly. So you know it's not going to have any And issues. somehow they know how to make HCR 13 sharp. I don't care. <laughs> They're the only ones that can do it. I don't understand. You know? Okay. Mm -hmm. We're also going to show you the Tenacious Lightweight OD Green FRN Handle Scales. The HCR 13 MOV Steel. Opened like all spider codes with the Lummel. So this liner rock also has the four position Ambi Pocket Clip. And this one is just forty-four eighty-four from thelandknife.com. Nowhere else, you know, there's nowhere else to tenacious get Tenacious doesn't really need any other introduction because if you don't know what a Tenacious is, I'm sorry, you've been living under a rock. You don't, you don't play with knives. You need to, you need to be in the, in the circle yeah. of yeah. trust here. Yeah. Okay, so with that, we're on to our number two. And, and that, that is? is the Kubi Momentum. Kubi Momentum and Monster Dog. <laughs> yep. We couldn't. We just couldn't let the front flipper have number two by itself. I didn't want it on the list at all. <laughs> I think it's an awesome knife and everybody buys it. But I don't like front flippers. So, you know, this is our list. But, you know. So the Kubi Momentum has also been very popular. Mm -hmm. Unbelievably popular. Selling pretty much uh, gradually. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight every day. It's available in black, green, jade, and camo G10, which is the most popular. We have the camo. So it's 7.91 inches overall with a 3.43 inch D2 drop point blade. Flat grind, B blasted finish, jimping, plain edge, handle is G10 and has a reversible stainless pocket clip and a lanyard hole. This blade is opened with the jimp front flipper. Ugh. Sorry, I've tried to hide my disgust. The <laughs> jimp front flipper and the dual sided thumb studs. Yeah. It's sad because I actually like this knife a lot. I like it. It's got thumb studs, so I can open it. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind. I like it that way. Okay. I feel like 
missing something. Very fidget friendly for those who like using thumb studs and front flippers, that is. And you can keep the fidget going with the Kobe momentum for just no. $34.84. Lionknife.com. That's the next thing. 34 bucks. Yeah. Clearly, it had to make the list because it's a price and quality material. Good blade jimping. We like that part too. If it only had a front flipper for a Man, it would have taken number one. Perfect, yeah. Which but. is why we have the. Yeah, I like the Monster Dog. I do too. Mm -hmm. Sharing the number two spot. I love this folder. Great chunky piece. Definitely fit in your pocket. Cuts nicely. A little more at $45.84 from landknife.com, but I think it's worth it because. It is. Look it's at the style of that blade. Look at, blade. look at how it fits. If you're going to have a piece in your pocket, it should be chunky, I mean, don't you on. think? I mean, it's great. All right. Just over seven inches have been fully deployed. Has a 2.95 inch 14C 28 in blade with flat grindstone wash finish and jimping. Blade is open with large dual sided thumb frisbees yep. and operates on cage ceramic ball bearings. Lastly, it's got black G10 handle, mm -hmm. tip up reversible pocket clip lantern hole, and was designed by Dmitry Azarenko. Who did not pay us for this spot. No, nope. excellent budget folder, in my opinion. Why well, didn't get one? Well, that leads to number one. Now, if you don't know what number one is, I don't know. And that wonderful piece of gear is... <sighs> CMB Made Knives Predator. Yeah, if you didn't see this coming, you weren't paying attention. Nope. I mean, this knife has sold out countless of times. So many, I probably can't even, I can't even recall how many it was. So the most popular is the Red Micarta with the sandblasted blade. However, the black and orange options are still available. Just like Dr. Phil said, you should have seen see this one coming. coming. Yep. So this knife is 7.87 inch overall. With a 3.42 inch D2 blade, plain edge, satin finish, comes to about 59, 60, call it 61 on the HRC scale. Handle is Micarta on the red, and G10 on the other options. Has a tip up pocket clip, black backspacer, blade is engaged with dual sided thumb studs, or access lock while operating on copper ceramic and ball bearings. There it is. For flawless opening. Mm. Comes with pouch and cleaning cloth. All for the low, low, low price of fifty eighty four from alanaknife.com. Forty nine eighty four for the orange. Yeah. So this made the list because first, it's the most popular model of the entire year. Mm-hmm. Second, it's D two and Macarta for only fifty bucks. Or D two and G ten. Yeah. And third, it has the access loss and extras you for know the fifty red bucks. Ones are the... Yeah, the red ones are the big sellers. Yep. And it's more. only fifty bucks from Atlanta.com. Yeah. Yeah. So, we hope you guys liked our top 10 best budget folders for this year, 2022. Playing with the CMB. I liked it. Did you? Yep. That's great. Are you ready? You should. If like there it. were any knives that you think should have made this list, or any knives you feel should have been left off, what are you doing? <laughs> the monster dog deserves to be there. <laughs> Jeez, he's worked hard. Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell so we can keep the videos coming. Also, to make sure to head on over to AK to see the countless number of deals and holiday events we are having. We're the best seasonal dealer provider this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> you darn tootin'. Too bad I don't have a piece of a week. Chaw. <laughs> You can also see what's happening by checking out our social media pages on Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, and Rumble. I thought you were both checking by checking out our social security numbers. No, fortunately, we, those like are not four. there. like four. Mine's that old. Wow. We've got deals, photos, giveaways happening all the time. There it is. With that, we're on to Jules' most favorite part yes. of the video. The honorable mention. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't believe how many knives came out this year. This year was a year for ridiculous, okay? Ridiculousness. It's just... Oh, and there's no affiliation between that show and this show, just so you know. Yeah. So for this list, we considered the CJRB Mormalia, the Shield and Bulbasaur, the Kaiser Hiccup, and the O-Knife Splint with Coin. Too much alcohol, I'll tell you. Stop that stuff. Yeah. As well as the Buck Put a Hex on them, Kaiser Mini Roach, and the Mini October. Best Tech Rock Face, the CV Altus Conspirator Relic, and Thug too. As well as the QSP Osprey XL Button Lock, Artisan Cirrus, Kubi Titus, and Kubi Doris. Not Boris. And finally, the Dan Designs Basilisk Sincut Watukai Best Tech Syntax, which was pretty popular. I really liked that one too. And the Cold Steel Verdict, which had no chance. Ouch. Mm -hmm. 
Had no chance. No chance. It had some chance. It was chance. last it was, year. It was last year. I think it was. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't like. I don't like him. Oh, we have to scroll now because I can't remember what happens next. All right. Oh, but some of those knives were just too out of the budget budget range, and apparently were also done last year, which is why <laughs> I left out the Tizer Tizer K because it came out in like November. No way! Is that why it didn't make it? Yes, because it oh, came out in like November, man. and we remember we mentioned it at the end. We're like, well, it hasn't had much time to be popular. We should have gave it a chance. I got it would have uh, made we can three, probably, yeah. or cut out the Kubi momentum made two. Yeah, and something like push that. Push it all down. So we love the toss. Okay, don't think we don't. Yeah. Plus, I would have give Kaiser two. Yeah, well, I don't think anybody got more than two, did they? Uh, <laughs> Cansip got two. They got two. They got uh, yeah. They yeah. got two. So nobody got more than two. No. That's good. Oh uh, yeah, Kubi they didn't got deserve two, more than two. two. Well, some people make the budgets. Yeah. All right. Ready? With that, we hope you and yours have a wonderful holiday. I'm C, and this is Jewel. Just Joel, and we are. Kitty, do not jump up here. No. Ha la la.